Dan here. About six years ago, I took a light padding tool into the water for the first time. It was this crazy powered thing with a battery and a circuit board and a long sort of uh, flexible thing that I was flicking around. It was a huge amount of fun, but being powered in the water, it lasted about an hour and ended up in the bin. But I tell you what, the seed was sown. For the last three years, I've been getting in the water every summer and occasionally in winter, and it's been so much fun. There's this incredible way that water and light play together to create these beautiful glassy sort of incredible effects and the way the water flings off the edge of a tool into the air is just incredible. It's been a massive amount of fun. So over the last couple of years I've been developing a range of tools so that you can get in the water and have a go at liquid light yourself. Now it's pretty complex. These tools that I have developed have taken me a long time, many, many iterations to get them so that they're nice and strong. What we've got here is a range of tools specifically designed for being in the water. Now, what does that mean? Well, uh, obviously, like all light painting tools, you need a torch. Uh, I have designed the range of tools around the LED Lenser D14.2 torch. Now, I have thrashed these torches over the years, way before I was doing liquid light. Here's one that's been around for years. Uh, but as you can see here, uh, the tools uh, use this particular torch. Now, why the lead lens are defaulting? Well, there's a lot of torches that claim to be waterproof, uh, but are not. I have killed many. The lead lens is strong, it's robust. Uh, we can attach the tool to the head without it coming off if we're careful. Um, so what else needs to happen for a tool to go in the water? Well, uh, as you can see here, the tools all have screws in there. That's how we lock the tools and the torch in. Those are stainless steel. Uh, the plastic I've designed and 3D printed, I've used ABS plastic, which is incredibly strong. And the design uh, is such that uh, all of the forces are dissipated in the right way. Anyway, I have the rash these in the water and it's been a huge amount of fun doing that. Um, so I can be absolutely confident that what we've got here are uh, fittings that are going to work uh, in the most harsh environments. So how does the system work? Well, basically what we have is we have the torch, uh, we have a fitting, and then we have, um, we have a couple of different tools. So this, this fitting here is the blade holder. Now, you can undo this and remove these two blades and put another set of blades in. Uh, they, they are able to be moved around. Uh, as you can see here, so we can adjust the position of them for different effects and different looks. Basically what you do is you treat this system here just like you do your normal blades, whether those are my Arclight blades or uh, a light blade with a Kayo, you treat them the same to get the same textures and effects and colors. We've also got a set of chroma lights uh, that uh, work with the fittings. Um, so you can take your chroma lights into the water. They work beautifully, absolutely gorgeous. We do the full range of color colors with those. Um, you can buy a, uh, a clear, um, a clear tube and you can do like I've done here. So I've applied just really cheap dollar a tube fluorescent paint uh, and the effect that you get from these are amazing. And then uh, we've adapted the light flutes uh, to go into the water. Again, an amazing tool in the water. The light flicks out of these and comes out of the holes. They look absolutely gorgeous. So the only real thing that you need to think about is the lead lens of torch. Now, there are a couple of cheap rubbish fakes on the market. You definitely do not want those. So you can either purchase uh, the lead lens yourself, wherever you are, and I've done a tutorial on how to paint it. So you can do that, or uh, we can supply the torch to you painted. I've uh, pulled this torch apart. Uh, you can see that they're fluoro yellow uh, inside. I've pulled this torch apart and I've painted it for you. So you can purchase them as a kit. So here you go, liquid light tools. Um, they are gonna be robust. Uh, they're gonna be uh, easy to use. But most importantly, it gives you an opportunity to go into the water uh, and have a huge amount of fun. Now, a question I get all the time is, um, I don't wanna take my tripod into the water. Well, look, I take my tripods into the water, often into the ocean, into the salt water. I just wash them every night when I get back. But if you don't wanna be taking your uh, tripod into the water, 
You can put your tripod on the sand near the water and just zoom out. We've done a fully comprehensive tutorial as well that shows you how to focus in the dark in the water, uh, how to set up your tools and stuff. And in there, I shot the tutorial in a swimming pool. You can just put your tripod on the side of the pool and shoot it that way. So you don't actually have to take your, um, your tripods into the water or your cameras. Um, yeah, awesome, liquid light, uh, get into the water and have a bit of fun. Cheers.